Hey there everyone, welcome to Technisha. In this video, I will show you how to find out overlapping times in a table. That is, here is an appointment schedule for an establishment. Let's say we add a new appointment, say A4, and the time I'm going to put as, let's say, 11.30 up till 1.15. Automatically, you will get an highlight of all the appointments which is having overlapping times. Once you get this information, you can change your appointment time to make sure that there are no overlapping appointments. How can we do it? Let me show you. Here you can see the appointment schedule for an establishment which basically has three columns. The appointment, the start time and end time. Note that the booking of the appointment is not in a chronological order. That is, based on when the appointment is fixed, it's entered in the table. So the appointment A3, which begins at 2 o'clock, is entered before the appointment A4, which is booked at 12.45 p.m. In such a scenario, one way to find if there is no overlap is to first sort the data based on the start time. So you can just select your full table and just do a sort custom sort based on start time smallest to largest and say ok and now you can manually check if there are any overlaps the appointment A5 is getting over at 1300 hours but the A4 is booked at 1245 and now you can reschedule this way is really time consuming and requires a lot of manual effort there is another easier way to find overlapping times let me show you that so let me just undo this sort to find the overlapping time, we need to do some calculations. So I'm going to add a new column in column E. And let's call this the overlap flag. To do this calculation, we are going to use the formula sum product. So I'm going to type in the cell E5 the formula equal to sum product of array 1. I'm going to open another parenthesis and see the start time c5 should be less than the entire range d5 to d14 in our case and that i'm going to freeze the d5 to d14 with the function f4 close the parentheses and multiply this with the end time which is in cell d5 to be greater than all the start times in your appointment table and again freeze from C5 to C14 close the parentheses and close the sum product formula press enter copy this formula over so you see in column E you have the overlap flag with some showing 1 and some greater than 1. Whenever the overlap flag is 1, it means there is no overlap of the time with the other appointments. And if it is greater than 1, there are going to be some overlaps. So you see here that the appointment A3, A4, A5 have overlapping timings. And now you can rectify them. Another easier visual representation would be if you could color the cells which have overlapping appointments. That can be done by using conditional formatting. So let me select the cell B5 to E14, which is our complete table. And let me go to conditional formatting and make a new rule. I'm going to use a classic, which is basically a formula. And I'm going to type in the formula where the cell E5 should be greater than 1. Since our column E is frozen, but the row needs to be changed. So we are going to delete the dollar before the 5 and just say OK. There. So now, whenever the overlap flag has a value greater than 1, the appointments will be colored. That is, they have overlapping times. So I can hide this column E. And now I see that the appointments A3, A4, A5 have overlapping times. And upon further inspection, I see that the A4 appointment is getting over at 1430 while the A3 appointment starts at 1400. 
so I'm going to change the D timing to 1400 and there you see that the A3 is no more overlapping with another appointment however A4 and A5 still have overlapping times so let me change the appointment A5 from 1300 to 1245 and now you can see that there are no overlapping appointments this is an easy way to track and ensure that there are no overlapping times in any of your scheduling projects. I hope that this tutorial was of use to you. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time, ciao.